Welcome back, everybody. This morning in our Consumer Confidential, breaking down the top startups of the year and what they're looking for in an employee. Every year, LinkedIn identifies the young companies leading the way in hiring and in growth and employee engagement. And here with a first look at this year's picks is friend of the show, Dan Roth, yes. LinkedIn's yeah. editor-in-chief. Dan, good morning to you. Good morning. Great to be here. Before we uh, get into it, can you explain how did you make these picks? Yeah, sure. We look at, this is our list of the top companies, the top young companies to work for. Okay. We look at companies who are probably privately held uh, seven years old or younger, 50 employees and growing at least 10% a year. And then we rank them based on four criteria. How much interest is there in their job listings, paid or unpaid? Mm -hmm. How much attention do their employees get? So these are like our salespeople, recruiters, trying to get the attention of people who work at these companies. Okay. okay. Um, are they growing? How fast are they growing? And then the last one is how well they're pulling talent from some of the top, most established, best companies to work for. These are people who are leaving great jobs to go work at these upstarts. That's a really great sign. All right, so let's get right to it then. Yeah. I'm looking at the list here. Let's reveal your top five. Do you want to go over them or you want me to just say them? The first one is Discord, which... My kids are on it. I'm like, what is that? Yeah, I was going to say, if you're a gamer, Discord. Yeah. What is like, Discord? Discord is a social messaging. Phone. Yeah, it's a social messaging platform. If you're, It started as a way for gamers to kind of talk to each other while they're playing games. It's turned into a massive chat app and community app since then. They love it. Next, you have Gong. Yeah, Gong is a platform that helps salespeople understand who they're selling to. It uses AI to understand your pipeline. Guild Education. Guild Education provides education services and training to employees. So your employees can get all kinds of skill upskilling through this uh, through this company, and Oprah is an investor in this company. Really? Yeah. Do I live under a rock? <laughs> yeah, both. Do, I'm like, I'm over here like, what? And what's Brex and Ramp? Brex and Ramp are both companies that sell finance tools to companies. So we talk about like some of the trends that you might be seeing in these companies. You just identified four of those five companies are B2B companies. They are, set, they are businesses that sell to other businesses. Those are mm. very, very hot companies right now. Th that in terms of trends uh, of the 50 that you looked at, is that? Exactly. That's, that's one of them. So two other trends that we're seeing are, number one is this B2B. Like These are companies that are selling, especially around mental health. Mm -hmm. okay. A lot of companies are saying we need better ways to be able to serve our employees as they go through difficult times. Right. So a lot of startups in the mental health space, Lyra, Spring are two e examples of that. Okay. Uh, another good example of, of these com uh, uh, trends that we're seeing are um, companies that are providing uh, services for cannabis companies. Uh, a lot of states are legalizing. That makes sense. And then uh, sustainability. So Jennifer Garner's baby food company made the list this year. Once upon a farm, Viori, which does sustainable clothing. All my workout gear oh, is now Viori. You know, know Viori. Yeah. yeah, they made the list. So these are the. What about skills? What type of skills are people looking for? Companies looking for in employees? I know you talked to them about yeah. that. Yeah. So there are three major ones that we saw. One is growth mindset. They want to. These companies are changing frequently and they want to hire people who when they hire when they are hired they know that the job they're hired for might change within six months so brex is an example they ask during interviews tell me about a time where a teammate or a fellow employee has changed your mind about a situation oh. about how you understand the world hmm. they want to know where you're learning from each other i love that. Um, yeah it's cool two is empathy they want to know that you're going to actually feel what their customers are feeling and the three is they want problem solvers. So a great example of this company, Picasso, they do property management software. They say they want a chain, empty the dishwasher types. People who, when they walk past a full dishwasher, say, it's not my job, but I'm going to roll up my sleeves. I'm going to empty the I'm dishwasher. I'm getting fired. I'm getting fired. <laughs> I like some of that in my house. I love that. I love that. So finally, listen, there's a lot of economic uncertainty. What if you see a job opening for a startup? Is yeah. this the time to go try an adventure? Or, and I'm sure there have to be perks, right, to get people to, to come Absolutely. Over. So first of all, all of these, almost all of these companies are hiring. Half of the jobs they're hiring for are remote jobs. So you can get a job without actually being where these companies are located. That's interesting. But they are, these companies, they can't promise the big IPO uh, 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 booms anymore. Those things aren't mm -hmm. happening the way they used to happen in like the dot-com era. Yeah. So they have to, they're offering all kinds of perks. One is skills, a lot of skills. They're investing in people being able to career-proof themselves. They're saying, we are going to train you to go on to some other job after this that you're going to be great at. And then two is, these are supposed to be great places to work. So yeah. like Gong has four-day uh, work, uh, long weekends. Wow. Every quarter, the entire company shuts down. Wow. Uh, Discord offers gives you your birthday off and then all kinds of vacation days. And then these places are just like, we're just going to keep investing in you. This should be a fun place to work. Dan Roth, LinkedIn's good. editor in chief. Good to see you, man. Nice Thank you. Thank Always you. learn something. I know. Here. Always. I know. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.